In this short video, I'm going to walk through setting up a project in Google Earth and then adding some stops in, in the project that would be used um, for this Google Earth big picture introduction project that you are uh, going to be creating. And then I'll also just remind you um, how to go about taking the link to the project in Google Earth and putting it in a button within your Weebly site so that myself and anybody else looking at your project page will be able to access it easily. So I'm starting at um, the address google.com slash earth and this is the landing page right now and I will click on the launch earth button and here we go. So it's loading the web version of Google Earth. There is also a standalone desktop version and there's probably even an app version. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure about that. But here I am, I've, I've launched Earth. It looks like it might have navigated to the last place that I was checking out, which was somewhere in Paris. But I'm gonna create a new project for this, um, for this assignment. And in order to do that, I'm gonna go over to the buttons on the left and I'm going to select the button that has kind of a map pin on a piece of paper. And if you hover over that, you can see a tiny little um, window or, or a little label pops up that says projects. So I'm gonna click on that and I am gonna click on new project. I'm gonna create a new project. And as soon as you do that, it automatically saves that project to a folder on your Google Drive. So when you do this project, you should be logged into your Google account already. It's called an untitled project, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that. I clicked on the little um, pencil there, and I'm gonna call this um, um, Mendel's Garden. And the reason why I'm calling it this is because in this project, I am going to be creating something that I will use at, during the introduction in a high school biology class on um, Mendelian genetics. Um, and if you, if you remember or you've taken any biology, you know about the, the idea that Gregor Mendel, this monk, um, experimented with different types of plants, uh, most notably pea plants, in a garden in a monastery where he was um, the abbot of. And from his observations, um, he was able to demonstrate that plants, um, um, you know, they transmitted certain traits and then looking at the data, um, other, others were able to determine that that correlated with, uh, with genes uh, being in pairs um, alleles being in pairs and that there were some that you could call dominant and some that were recessive. So his work was foundational in the area of our modern understanding of genetics. And so I'm going to be, in, during this introduction, I want my students to know where his work took place. I want them to see a, a, a picture of it from, from where the, they are right now. What, where is it? So Mendel's Garden. Um, I can add a description here, but... Um, and actually, I'll just type in uh, something real quick. Okay, so I have some information. And the first thing that I want to do is create a, a new feature. And in this new feature, I'm going to um, search to add a place. So I'm going to create three places that I will then um, re reference during my introduction. So I'm going to search to add a place. And... I'm not 100% sure right now what, what, where Gregor Mendel did his work. So I, um, I went to Wikipedia and I just typed in Gregor Mendel. Here, here he is, a little bit of information about him. I'm actually going to save this image of Mendel. And this is in the public domain. It's in Wikipedia. I'm going to just stick it on my desktop. Here I am. I'll put that here, save it to my desktop. And I have learned that he was the abbot of St. Thomas Abbey in, um, a, in a city in South Moravia, a region of Czechoslovakia. And I can click on that. Actually, I'm going to click on the abbey 
because this is the specific Abbey. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and save and save this picture of the church or of the monastery slash church. Save it to my desktop. Um, let's go back. So I'm going to be, I'm going to do a search for St. Thomas's Abbey in Google Earth and see whether or not um, it'll just pop up. So here I'm going to add a place and I'm going to search for it and it's the very first um, option. So here is the monastery. You'll notice in this stop that the, a, a little window of information pops up. There's already a picture. There's already some text. I can either keep that or I can um, or I can add add my own. I'm just going to keep this information though. And uh, again, it's pretty cool because I can zoom in and um, I'm in th I'm in three dimensional mode. So you can sort of see the texture of the buildings themselves. So this is my, this is a stop on my project. So I'm going to add this to my project by clicking on add to project. And I can change any of this information if I want to, I'll save it. One nice thing is that when I click on it, um, if I want to edit it, and I can actually zoom into a, I can, I can decide exactly where I want this to show up. If I want it zoomed in when I click on it or if I want it out and then I want to zoom in or however I want, I can do that. And then when I click on capture this view, it will then change the precise location information here. I can also change what I want my place mark to, um, to look like. I can even add my own see more icons. There might be an icon that would be interesting um, related to something scientific. Um, so I can just choose from that, but I won't change it for now. And well, I'll give it a, I'll give it a big circle. There we go. And it's, um, I can change the color, but I'll make it red for now. Okay. So, so now I have one stop in my file. So I'm going to add some information about where Mendel was from. So I'm going to copy this um, this lo location, th the village where he was born, and I'm going to go back to my um, my project, and I'm going to add a new feature. And in this case, my new feature is going to be another um, place that I'm going to add. So I need to search. I'll paste what I have. There it is going to zoom out to the little village where Mendel was born. Here I'm going to add this to my project. And I'm going to add this except I'm going to edit it. I'm going to click on edit place because um, I want to have a really, I want to have a picture of Mendel here. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to replace the information that was there. I'm going to click on the camera, select the file from my device. And in this case, I'm going to go to my desktop and here's the picture of Mendel that I had um, copied from um, Wikipedia. I'm going to keep it. And this is where I would put, um, this is the birthplace of Gregor Mendel in I'm going to zoom in. There we go. Capture that view. And <clears throat> another thing I want to point out is that if I wanted lots of information about him to float up in my presentation, I could change my small info box to a large info box or, or none for that matter. Um, but I'll keep it a small info box for now. So I'm going to go back now to my um, presentation and you'll notice that I have two different um, stops and in your project you're, you're going to need three and I actually want to move this stop to be first because so I'm going to click and drag it above the monastery because I want to start out where he was born in my presentation. So I did that and now um, now when when I want to show this to my students um, I simply need to launch Google Earth, click on the projects. Oops, I'll click on this and um, all my projects will be listed and I'll start out. Here's Google's 
or here's Mendel's garden. And I'll click on present. So when I am with my students, the first stop on the, um, on the tour will be the village where he was born. And when I'm presenting this to my students, I can zoom out. And to be honest, I, my very first stop should have been here where, where we are um, in, uh, well, well where, where, where my classroom is, in this case, perhaps Radford, Virginia, so that I could see the, where this location is in relation to, um, you know, to where Mendel was born in relation to the location where, we, where this class is. I can then click the next button and zoom to my next location, the monastery. And again, it zooms in to the to the level that I saved it at. Okay, so now now so you created a project that has three tours, and I am going to then I now want to be able uh, f to have everybody um, it, be able to view this, make it public for this project, and and add it to a Weebly page. So in order to do that, I will click on the sharing icon up here. It's the person with the plus. I'm going to click on advanced. I'm going to change it so that it's not private. I'm going to say anyone with a link or uh, public, doesn't matter, um, for, for this project. I'm going to click on save. I have my address up here in the box. So I'm going to copy that address. I am done. Now, when I go to my Weebly, um, my Weebly site, and I go to, um, I'll, when I create a page for this project, I'll create a standard page. I will call this, um, I will just call this um, Google Earth intro. Uh, I'm done with that. Oops, notice I do not want that big giant header. Get rid of that. And then I'll put some, I'll, I'll put a, um, uh, I'll put a title on here. Um, I'll put a divider under that just to clean it up. <clears throat> and here I might also put another picture um, of something if I want to make this an interesting page. Um, you know what I'll do is I'll put a picture of the monastery because this is really what I wanted to be talk talk about in the um, in the presentation. Whoops, I'll resize it. Um, and then as far, and then here for text, I will put text that ex has the information that is needed for the project. Let's put project text. And then of course, I want to put a link to the earth page. So, um, or to my project. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on there. I'm going to put a button here, click on that, move the button to the middle, choose a style. Yours will be different depending on your, um, your theme, and then uh, the button text. Um, I will call this Mendel's Garden. And finally, I'm going to put the link. And here I'm going to paste the um, link that I got from uh, from uh, Google Earth. And I am done. So there. I'll have my whole whole page done and I created a button that will link now to that Google Earth project. Okay, and that's it. That's all you have to do. It's super fun, super creative project and can be very, very useful as you introduce a new topic to your students or a new experience for your students.